also saw this week an interesting uh, email uh, about a uh, notice posted by a woman living in New York City, uh, evidently a gold digger, uh, advertising for a husband. Uh, and this is the ad that she uh, put out. Okay, I'm tired of beating around the bush. I'm a beautiful, spectacularly beautiful, 25-year-old girl. I'm articulate and classy. I'm not from New York. I look, I'm looking to get married to a guy who makes at least a half a million a year. I know how that sounds, but keep in mind that a million a year is middle class in New York City, so I don't think I'm overreaching at all. Are there any guys who make 500 k or more on this board? Any wives? Could you give me some tips? I dated a businessman who makes average around 200 to 250 k but that's where I seem to hit a roadblock. 250 k won't get me to Central Park West. I know a woman in my yoga class who was married to an investment banker and lives in Tribeca, and she's not as pretty as I am, nor is she a great genius. What is she doing right? How do I get to her level? Well, that was the ad that this classy uh, young woman uh, set out in New York City. What was interesting was that uh, some of the responses that came in. Here was one response from uh, evidently a New York businessman. He says that he meets all of her qualifications as he is a man on Wall Street and makes over $500,000 a year. And then uh, he lets her have it. He says, in economic terms, you are a depreciating asset. <laughs> while I am an earning asset. Not only are you a depreciating asset, your depreciation accelerates. Let me explain. You're 25 now and will likely stay pretty hot for the next five years, but less so each year. Then the fade begins in earnest. By 35, stick a fork in you. So, in Wall Street terms, we would call you a trading position, not a buy and hold. Hence the rub, marriage. It doesn't make good business sense to buy you, which is what you're asking. So I'd rather lease. In case, in case you think I'm being cruel, I would say the following. If my money were to go away, so would you. So when your beauty fades, I need an out. It's as simple as that. So the deal that makes sense is dating, not marriage. Well, that, I thought, was a very interesting uh, exchange. It kind of shows, I think, what happens in a culture in which marriage is deconstructed so that, really, uh, you don't need to get married to have sex with a, a beautiful young woman uh, or to, to share a, a life with her, something of that sort. And, indeed, when she gets to be a certain uh, age and uh, her beauty fades, you can just sort of discard her as a, a depreciating asset. It, it's a sad comment that women would pursue such self-destructive courses of action as this. And as I thought about this poor gal uh, and what she's trying to do, I thought of Proverbs 11.22. Like a gold ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful woman without discretion. By contrast, Proverbs 31 says, Charm is deceitful and beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So it just shows you the sort of difference in values, I think, that Christians come at things from the standards of the world.